I was born in Iran, um, Tehran in 1984. My dad had moved to the United States in the 60s, but decided after a marriage and two kids and a divorce, um, he decided to move back to Iran. Um, kind of the reverse immigration. He like went back and was like, I'm gonna go back to Iran and be with my family and enjoy my, my, my life there. Revolution happened. Um, my dad was um, a professor at Tehran University teaching um, fine art and graphic design um, with an emphasis on like advertising and animation um, and uh, met my mom as one of his um, uh, master's students um, and then the revolution happened they still stuck it around uh, stuck around and tried to stay through that but then the Iraq war kind of compounded things and uh, it was at that time that kind of the War of the Cities, which, which occurred when they started to actually, you know, shell the cities, <laughs> um, was kind of the final straw. And then we just, my parents made a decision to, to leave, and then we moved to San Jose, California. Like, my dad taught art at Tehran University, but he was not able to teach at, teach at a university level in the United States. So he had to um, reinvent his skill set to fit some sort of trade. We were very poor growing up. Um, you know, my early memories of America are like food stamps and getting the government assistance so we could like, you know, move into our own place. So it took about like six months to a year before we could even get our own apartment. And it was just like a one bedroom apartment for the three of us. Um, and, you know, the unique thing about my experience is that I've, I've witnessed through my family, through my parents, through that kind of first generation um, economic struggle um, that I think people may more associate with, say, um, the inner cities of America um, or, um, you know, the uh, migration of Mexican and South American immigrants. That was my neighborhood. I was more, you know, in, in America, I feel like you're organized by capitalism. You're organized by economic class. And for me, that was mainly my identity. And it was really not until later as I got older I started to think about my um, ethnic identity more. And my work as a filmmaker is at the intersection of those two things. Telling um, stories of uh, characters and subjects who, uh, whether it's documentary format or narrative format, who are marginalized, unseen, misrepresented, um, uh, unspoken for, and telling their stories through a point of view that they are the ones that overcome their adversity and they don't need to be um, simply victimized and felt sorry for or empathized or sympathized with. That, that the resilience of these, of, of these remarkable characters, whether fictional or, or um, real in the documentary format, um, those are the stories that I mine and bring to life. And they span uh, generally immigrant communities or communities that have been oppressed by um, the systematic nature of the history of this country. When I look at the people that I admire from our culture, like my mom, they're the ones that are always standing up for the, for, for the everyman. They're the ones that are speaking for the underserved. And I think for me, I feel a duty to do that. And I think that is, that is very much comes from my heritage.